Hello everyone! This video is sponsored by Mohamed Al Hassani, hope I pronounce his name correctly, who kindly supported me on Patreon. Also, he asked about how to spawn some projectiles so they can fly from starting point in different directions. So here we go! Script is available by the link in the description as usual. First, let's take a look at projectile prefab. It's a fireball with rigid body to decomponent, with gravity scale set to zero and collision detection set to continuous. Also, it has Circle Collider 2D, which is a trigger to detect collisions with other game objects, if they exist. Another thing about this Fireball prefab is its layer option. It has projectile layer assigned, which is created here. This assignment is needed to disable collisions within this layer. Let's go to Edit Menu section, Project Settings, Physics 2D. Here we have layer collision matrix. Initially, all collisions are enabled, including projectile layer. By unchecking this field, we can disable collisions in projectile layer. So when more than one projectile are instantiated at the same point, they will not collide with each other and go their way freely. The main game object here is projectile spawner. It's just empty game object with launch projectile script attached. This script has a field to adjust desirable number of projectiles to spawn and reference to projectile prefab. Let's take a look at this script. First variable holds number of projectiles that we want to instantiate. It can be set in inspector. Next one is a reference to projectile prefab to instantiate. Start point variable represents a point in screen space where projectiles should be instantiated. Radius variable helps us to find projectile move direction. Move speed is a move speed of a projectile. In start method we assign a radius variable, which in fact may have any value, except zero or negative. Let it be five, as well as move speed. In update method, we read if fire button is pressed, in our case it will be left mouse button. And if left mouse button is pressed, then we mark mouse pointer position and assign it to start point variable, converting its coordinates to world point. Then we invoke spawn projectiles method, passing number of projectiles value as a parameter. All of the magic happens in this method using a bit of trigonometry. So first of all, we need to find an angle step according to which projectile direction will be found. So we divide 360 degrees by number of projectiles. Then we set initial angle to zero. Hope this picture will help a bit to understand what am I trying to explain here. Ok. Then we start a loop from zero to number of projectiles minus one, spawning and sending each fireballs with its own direction. First of all, we need to find the coordinates of A point. It will be projectile direction X and Y position variables. So X coordinate can be calculated with help of sinus of current angle, and Y coordinate can be get with help of cosine of this angle. Trigonometry rules. After that, we can easily find our projectile vector and its move direction, subtracting projectile vector and start point, normalizing it and multiplying by move speed. Finally, we instantiate our fireball at start position and pass it a velocity according to projectile move direction values. Last step in this loop is to increase angle value by angle step value. That's the script. Quite simple one. Fireball can be deleted from hierarchy. And make sure that Fireball prefab is dragged and drop here into projectile slot of projectile launcher script. Let's hit play and see how it works. Number of projectiles is set to 2, click left mouse button and two fireballs go in opposite directions. Three of them. Five of them. Hundred of them. Boom! Beautiful. Okay. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.